Yeah, boy, what's going on? It's your boy James here, Beards and Cars, back with another video. If you guys are new to the channel, thank you for subscribing. If you guys are just stopping by, consider hitting that big red subscribe button down below, guys. Now, with that being said, I'll jump straight off in this topic today, which is going to be just about the importance of actually washing your beard with a beard wash. Now, when I say this, I don't mean for you to overwash your beard. I just mean for the importance of you to wash your beard. Okay, so I've been doing something for a long time. Kind of gross, kind of weird. I've done this for a long time. And if any of you guys been here, any real OGs from back in the day, I made a video a while back, the world's most used Kent comb. So in that video, I showed a comb that I've had for a while. I've had it pretty much my whole beard journey. And the comb is extremely worn out. All right. Now, with that being said, I want to show you guys this comb. I don't want you to judge me off this comb. I just want to show you guys how important it is to wash your beard and what gets stuck in your beard if you don't wash, okay? There you go. So you see that comb looks like a horseshoe. So these combs are worth their weight in gold. All right, but you see all that stuff stuck in there? All that stuff stuck in there is gunk, okay? So I hate showing this, but I did this for a reason, guys. I did this for a reason. This is what your comb looks like after a year of not cleaning your comb, all right? So, this isn't just not cleaning your comb. This is from a lack of proper beard wash, okay? So all this stuff gunked up in this comb. And hold on, guys. By the way, I do have another comb right here, okay? Brand new comb, all right? I do still use this one. I'm not going to lie. But all this stuff is basically just a bunch of beard products, okay? So this is oil. This is bombs. This is also probably a little bit of beard dandruff. But all this stuff gets stuck in your beard if you do not wash it it gets stuck in your beard and leaves you with that all right you pretty much cannot see this until you see a comb that looks like this now i know i'm not the only person in the world that has a comb that looks like this but i wanted to show you guys how important it was because when you wash your beard this all right this is what it strips out that's what washing your beard strips out of your beard right there is all that gunk. Especially if you're using a lot of bombs. If you're using a lot of beard bomb and you're not washing your beard, it's steadily stacking up with stuff like that in your beard, stuck to your beard hairs. And as you're brushing, you're actually brushing that stuff out of your beard and it's sticking to your comb. So with that being said right there, I just want to show you guys that and the difference between a new and an old comb. Okay, that's what happens when you don't wash your beard. Now, like I said, don't overwash your beard. It's not good for it, but there is a reason for washing your beard other than just it smelling good. And that is it right there to get all those beard products out of your beard. Like I said, especially if you're using a lot of beard balm. But that there is beard balm, beard oil, beard butter. It's a little bit of everything. It's a little bit gross. I just never really cleaned it just because I wanted to make a video like this. And also wanted to show y'all for the years later. So this is my, this is a whole year later, world's most used Kent comb right there. Thing looks like a horseshoe. That just kind of goes to show you how long one of these combs will last you if you do not lose the comb, okay? So that's the video I wanted to bring you guys today. Just the importance. I want to do an update on that comb because I've had it for a while. And I did a video a while back and I said that I would do a video about a year later. I don't know how long it's been, but I still have that worn out comb. I still use that worn out comb and I'll eventually clean that comb. But a lot of the times I use this other comb right here. So, but that's it guys. Just want to show you guys how important it is to wash your beard. Keep that crap out of your beard. Do not overwash your beard. I don't know if you can over co-wash your beard, but do not overwash your beard with beard wash, all right? But definitely get this crap out of your beard, whether you're washing once a week, twice a week, three times a week, and running hot waters in between, uh, just hot water rinses. Get that stuff out of your beard. Do not let it sit there because that is the result of what will happen to your comb. But better off, that's a result of what is stuck in your beard. All right, guys. See you guys in the next one.